you see, if you are in politics, you hardly have any secret. If you don't know what your grandmother has done before you were born, join politics. Somebody will come and tell you. You see, everybody knows people with no certificate, people with criminal records, people who are sick, people who, given the opportunity, will be very happy to sell Nigeria, including your cameras, just to make bigger capital. So what we are saying is, people must not make a mistake. This is the time really to come out and vote people, not based on ethnicity or religion, not based on any sentiment, but based on the fact that this is the best in terms of capacity, in terms of integrity, even in terms of educational qualification, even in terms of health, because it's an issue now. We lost one president in active service, so also we had president who spent so much time in the hospitals at the expense of his responsibility as the president and the commander-in-chief. And no wonder that today we have a hell lot of insecurity, and no wonder today we have so much economic crisis, education is now at the background, and of course everything that a politician should, be, should leave as a legacy now is close to zero. So we have to do the right thing. Otherwise, even Nigerians, especially the people who are, we call Talakawa here, the 133 million people who now live under poverty line. And in addition to those that this administration deliberately decided to make them poor by introducing this uh, currency swap, which is most unfortunate, a quarter to election, you broke, brought all these things. But I'm happy that every Nigerian now knows that uh, this is the policy of APC. And anybody who comes definitely will continue to implement. On our own side, we told everybody today that once we are sworn in as president and commander-in-chief, everybody should bring out his money. Hard-earned money, not stolen money. And unfortunately today, the hard-earned money cannot be swapped because the owners are mainly poor. And illegal money now is the one that is being collected. That's why you see the, a lot of governors now complaining because the billions that you are expecting to have, they are yet to have it to the extent that people from the same party are abusing themselves, even insulting the president himself. You know, forgetting that uh, at least the one in Kanu was being imposed by them from the villa. And today, I believe they must be regretting. Because that's the issue of mistake. If you make a mistake, don't think you are solving the problem. You may do it temporarily and make yourself comfortable. But in the long run, I'm sure if they had allowed natural cause, natural way of election in Kanu, the governor wouldn't have been insulting the president just like that. So that's the consequences of doing the wrong thing. And they have to be willing to face the consequences now and even in the future.